Hello, I'm Ron Netter and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Netter. This time we will talk about how to set up the Hubitat C5 with the Sylvania Smart Color Changing Light Strip Starter Kit. Now you say that fast three times and not get into trouble. This video is also available as an Amazon Flash Briefing or Podcast. Please go to techbyteswithrunnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that does not affect the price you will pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. If this video helps you and provides value, please click on the like button. Thumbs up. Okay, now let's get started. Now, as you saw in the, the opening part of this, this is the Sylvania Strip Lighting Kit. Now, this is one of the ones that's supported with the C5. So what I wanted to do is go ahead and get started with this. Let's just take this box out of the way and we'll go down here and you can see there's the power supply. There's the, well, adapter for lack of a better phrase that converts it over to the strip. And then we've got the individual light segments or strips. So I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up here and we'll put that strip out of the way. And just to keep things interesting, I'm going to just connect one segment of this. And there is, it's really hard to see it. The print's kind of small, but it shows you how to line this up because it's got plus and then it's got the individual light color so make sure that you match it up of course if you hook it up like i'm showing right here then that pretty much takes care of it for you so and just it you just you're going to have to give it a little bit of force but don't do too much or you're going to find you got some bent pins so we're going to get this all put together and guess what i picked the wrong end okay well <laughs> you live and you learn all right so now I will, and we, again, this comes down to where you've got to line up the plus. So the plus is on the plug right here and it's on this pin. So we'll just carefully put that in. Now this is going to take a little bit of force, but that's in there. And then we'll plug the power supply or wall wart into, I guess, the power module. And we'll just set it right here for now. So that's got everything started. So now we can go ahead and move over to the smartphone and configure the rest of it there. So I'm, as you can see, I'm already in the Hubitat module or interface or app. One of these days I'll get this all right. So we'll tap on devices and you can see what I've already been setting up and, and working with so we'll then go to well let's not get ahead of the game here too much let's go ahead and plug in the power supply and there's really no signs here except when well <laughs> you can see when it's first come up it turns itself on automatically so now that we've got that we can go to Discover Devices, and we'll tap on Zigbee, and we should see something. Ah, there we go. There, as you can see, it's blinking in the background, so it's already found it. Bless its little heart, it identified everything we need. So we'll just call this one. No, I don't want to call it Zigbee. This is a Sylvania. Uh. LED strip. Okay. And it says saved. We'll hit saved again just for general principle. We'll tap on the little menu option there. We'll go to devices to pull us out up to the main menu. And there is what's found. It's obviously found everything. I mean, it's, it's got all everything correctly identified. 
it's got the color temperature uh, now this is done right as you can tell the color temperature so if you needed to change it you can so we'll just make sure we got everything working here we'll turn it off on and if we set color temperature yeah okay I know I tapped the field before I was ready so let's go we'll hit 5000 and it's already made the adjustment so before I even did any you know before I hit the the set color temperature and let's go down to uh, 4000 and again it, it's so it is very uh, very responsive much more than I thought it might have been so that's really is uh, it's impressive it gives you the color name moonlight oh, I'm sorry you can't see that part gives you the color name moonlight so we will do we'll set the color temperature well I'm tapping the button and I so I'm getting the uh, the cart before the proverbial horse let's go down to a 3000 color temperature and so that's it's got kind of a yellow so it's got that soft white so this is really uh I, I i'm impressed and i'm not impressed easily on this kind of thing so really that has been uh you, you can't get much better than that so let's go back over here and we will go up to dashboards and studio and we will click plus and we will go down here to sylvania led strip and we will tell it well let's see uh, there's bow but let's see if we've got anything else to uh to work with here because i don't want to just select something right of hand but bulb is probably going to be the most appropriate or color bulb okay color bulb would be uh, better there so we've got that and we'll click add tile and we'll go back up here and now we should have the Sylvania LED strip now here's the advantage of selecting that it was color we have the ability to not only fade if I can drag the slider here you, know, you can see it going down right to my off to this right there and if I, I can change the color palette and tap on specific and it's it's reasonably responsive now let's see if we get into some of the blue stuff okay well there there's some maybe some tricks here that I haven't figured out yet okay here's where you really get into trouble oh color temperature oh this one could have a lot of fun with this one I can tell so if we go down here and we can change color temperature up to 5200 and I mean there's no rhyme and reason in what I'm doing I'm just working through the different options so it this can provide a uh, a lot of light so we'll you know it will let you see as I drag the color temperature we can go all the way up to 6500 okay he obviously didn't like that well he, the slider just went did a different own little direction so so you see right now that's it about 2900 4200 and that's without even really playing in the the color bulb options here so this really just out of the gate is a uh, flexible versatile device and this is one that really was been much easier to deal with I thought there'd be some of the things you'd have to go under the hood within Hubitat to to get it to work but really that's that's not the case now there is and I'm gonna switch back over to the other camera here and let's go ahead and turn that off so that we can uh, well here we go I, I'll hit the right buttons eventually just <laughs> just bear with me here there is adhesive on this and I would say leave that on until you're ready to put this in place as you can see it's very flexible with what what uh, the way you can bend it I would be careful as to how you 
much you flex this. Now, if you did need to cut this short, there's an important thing to notice here. You will see this little icon here with the scissors. That will allow you to safely cut it and not knock out a bunch of LEDs. So you can see the different LEDs, and then these are probably... Uh, resistors in line to to drop the voltage down so there's really I mean they do a good job if you need to cut it short you can and you would still have it usable to a degree because you're going to cut it with this other end being there so it could go on the end of a strip so that's because see if we undo a strip here okay you'd have to get a a set of like a double male coupler to be able to use that but i would think that would be reasonable to to expect you can do the yeah so mainly the thing with with this strip is to i would i'd be very hesitant to to do a hard 90 bend on it like that if you could do more kind of a a a, a less radical bend if it's possible and if not then i have been looking for some different adapters that would let you do hard right angles and that probably would be the best way to go so really from a standpoint this is something very handy It'd be good for an over the light i mean over over the kitchen sink type of light under cabinets and with this being directly hooked up into the c5 this is you know you couldn't make this much easier to uh to handle now you will see some videos to my right or to my left that are the next steps to other ones you may have watched in this series or to some other content I've produced. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on the thumbs up button that tells YouTube that you want to see more things like this. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.